good there. My name is Norman Sim Zio with the metric number 263346 under the course of GSAP 4083 Tourism Seminar. In this video, I will talk about good tourism planning and development. The place that I chose will be Ljubljana, which is the main capital of Slovenia. This video is supervised by my lecturer, Professor Dr. Azila Binti Kasim. Before we start, let me briefly introduce Slovenia. Slovenia is a country in Central Europe. It is bordered by Austria and Hungary. Slovenia is considered as one of the best destinations for tourists in Europe. It is a best place for tourists who like to be involved in outdoor activity and also adventure. Slovenia has various cities which are known as best place to visit like Ljubljana, Maribor, Koper, Piran and Lepplet. This destination have been all ranked as top destination that must be visited in the world. Tourism has contributed so much to Slovenia. In the year 2017, statistics record that Slovenia has received 4.7 million tourist arrival. Besides that, it also recorded that over 11.9 million tourists stay overnight in Slovenia. This has exceeded the number of tourist arrival and overnight stay in the year before. In addition, Slovenia has received several international awards such as National Geographic World Legacy destination leadership, the Golden City Gate 2017, and so on. It has proven that the Slovenia government has put great effort into developing their tourism. Now, I will briefly talk about Ljubljana, the capital of Slovenia. It is the largest among the cities of Slovenia. The city is located on the Ljubljanica River and is positioned in central Slovenia in a natural dispersion encircled by the Julian Epps High Peak. Ljubljana is famous among tourists for its sustainable development and it has been known as a city with a green soul. It has various historical destinations like Ljubljana Castle, Franciscan Church and Dragon Bridge. Ljubljana offers tourists a lot because it has various different cultural traditions and many interesting events. Some evidence has proven that Ljubljana is a sustainable tourist destination because Ljubljana is the first destination in Slovenia which became the gold member of Slovenia Green destination under the Green Stream of Slovenia Tourism GSST. Green Stream of Slovenia Tourism GSST is under the Slovenia Green brand, a national initiative and certification process. Slovenia Tourism developed this program to combine the effort towards sustainable development in Slovenia. GSST is created to promote the sustainable effort by using the Slovenia Green brand. Best practices in Ljubljana tourism has helped the city to become a good tourist attraction. The first practice I will present is the electric vehicle Cavalier. Ljubljana has emphasized sustainable tourism in their destination. The city center of Ljubljana has been closed for motorized vehicles. This has included the use of electric vehicles as a transport to bring tourists to their destinations. These electric vehicles are named Cavalier. These electric vehicles are named Cavalier with the meaning of gentle helpers, which offers help to tourists to bring them to the place they wanted to go. The local government developed the use of Cavalier also for the purpose of accessibility. Cavalier is everywhere in the city center of Ljubljana to offer rides for the tourists who visit Ljubljana. Cavalier offers free rides to tourists and it is a good help for tourists who are in their old age and also disabilities tourists. There are seven vehicles of Cavalier. Three of them are open-sided, which are used in the summer season, while two of them are closed-sided, which are used the wall year. Closed-sided Cavalier is more suitable for elderly and disabilities tourists because it has low entry platform, which enable wheelchairs to go in. Cavalier moves at 25 km per hour, which is a very slow speed. This will enable tourists to enjoy the scenery in Ljubljana. Tourists also can book Cavalier using phone calls and this has increased the efficiency of the Cavalier. Cavalier can pick up 5 passengers at one time and a total of 300 passengers in one day. Besides Cavalier, the local government also developed the urban electric train. The train can bring more passengers than an electric vehicle does. The train mainly brings tourists to the main attraction in Ljubljana. Every attraction will be passed by the urban electric train starting from the town hall to the Ljubljana castle. Audio guides were installed 
in the trend with different languages to guide international tourists. Different from the Cavalier, the urban electric trend requires tourists to purchase a ticket before hopping in. Electric vehicles are a brilliant idea for Ljubljana government as it is environmental friendly and improves the accessibility of the city. The second tourism planning that I will talk about is the Ljubljana by wheelchair mobile app. Ljubljana cares about every tourist who visits, including the disabilities tourists. This can be seen by the launch of Ljubljana by wheelchair mobile app. The Ljubljana by wheelchair mobile app was launched by the local tourist organization Zuvot Tourism Ljubljana. Disabilities tourists are considered an important element for Ljubljana. Thus, the local government has implemented various ideas to ensure they can have a wonderful trip in the city just like other tourists. The Ljubljana by wheelchair mobile app can be downloaded using mobile phones whether in App Store and Google Play Store. Using mobile application, it can be easily accessed by tourists as mobile gadgets can be used anywhere. Having the app enables tourists to apply for a wheelchair whenever they are when they visit Lubjana. This has solved the problem of most of the disabilities tourists traveling to various attractions. Furthermore, Speed3X electric wheelchair trailer, which is an electric wheelchair that helps disabilities to move faster and overcome long distance trips, is available in the app. The Speed3X electric wheelchair trailer looks like a bicycle and it provides adjustment in terms of height and width of the wheelchair to make disabilities tourists feel comfortable during their trip. The wheelchair is long lasting as it only requires charging every 40 km it moves. The wheelchair provided are free of charge but it must be returned by the end of the working hours. Besides wheelchairs, the app helps tourists to look for important information to overcome their unfamiliarity in the city, especially international tourists. The app allows tourists to search for accessible venues by category, sleep, drink, eat, see, do, shop, and use the restroom are all options. For example, if a tourist wants to find a better dining place to eat, therefore he or she can press the eat category and there will be many restaurant suggestions listed out by the app. The app also provides an offline map to prevent tourists from missing their way. This application launched has made the tourist trip easier. Following the third planning, which is the Green Supply Chain Project. Green Supply Chain Project is launched by various sectors in Ljubljana, including the Ljubljana Tourism, the sector for rural development at the Department of Environmental Protection of the City of Ljubljana, the Sustainable Tourism Factory, Good Place, and the Cooperative Jarina. Green Supply Chain is created with the purpose of promoting the use of locally sourced ingredients by local tourism operators and the general public. This project has been launched since 2015 and it has good feedback from citizens and tourists. Local food farmers are linked to the hospitality industry such as restaurants and hotels through the Green Supply Chain project. This will ensure that tourists are able to experience local food and also to help local farmers to promote their product in the aim to increase their income. According to Ljubljana Tourism, they are accomplishing their duty in the sustainable development of tourism not only by promoting awareness of the necessity of eating fresh, locally product food, but also by encouraging the local economy and decreasing carbon footprint. In conclusion, Ljubljana is a great destination that is worth visiting. The country has developed best practices of tourism planning which help the city to be named in certain awards. Our country Malaysia has plenty to learn about the tourism planning like the implementation of electric vehicles for tourists. As most of the city in Malaysia were crowded and full of motorized vehicles, electric vehicles can be used in certain rural attractions to increase the efficiency of the tourist transport. Furthermore, Malaysia also can develop mobile applications for tourists to ease their trip when they visit any city in Malaysia. The app can consist of various features like a map, suggested attraction, emergency calls, and so on. Developing a mobile application for tourists will be great help for them during the trip. Last but not least, the green screen project can be used as an example as Malaysia is famous of different food. The Malaysian Tourism Board can also work together with local farmers to help them promote their food to the hospitality industry. This will efficiently promote Malaysian cuisines to 
other countries and also improve the wealth of local farmers. That's all from me. Thank you.